Hey guys, Heiken Hinkle here. So today we are in the state of Vermont and today is our first hike of a long project that we're gonna be working on this summer. We are hiking the entire long trail. Now the long trail runs the entire length of the state of Vermont, all the way from the Massachusetts border on up to Canada. So the section that we're hiking today is actually section two of the long trail and we're hiking it southbound, where we're gonna do the rest of the long trail northbound. And the reason we're in section two here, rather than section one for this first episode, is because we went to the town of North Adams, Massachusetts to start the long trail at the Vermont, Massachusetts border. And there was actually a large wildfire right in the town of North Adams. So rather than take a chance with the wildfire, we decided to hold off on doing that first section of the long trail and instead jump forward, do the second section, and then hike that southwards. And then on our next hike, we're gonna go back and fill in that first section. So if you wanna see a video of that first section of the long trail going from the border of Massachusetts up to the point where this video is gonna end, I'm gonna leave a link for it down below in the description. So that way you can check it out or you can look at the playlist and see the entire long trail in the order you would normally hike it going northbound. So we're ready to get started with the long trail now though and let's get to it. And today we are hiking with my lovely wife Nicole, our new friend Noah and Bubba. We're here at the Story Spring Shelter. So this whole lake we just saw is all created due to this beaver dam right here. And if you look out on the lake, that right there is the beaver's den. So we've been hiking for just about eight miles here. So I think we're coming up on our shelter for the night here pretty soon. It's the Kid Gorge Shelter, I think is what it's called. And it should be just about 8.4 miles into this hike. So we should be seeing it any minute now. And I am looking forward to it. First backpacking trip of the season, I'm feeling it. So right here, we've just hit Lydia's Rest. You can see it's got a brilliant view here, but rather than a campsite, it's got this very comfortable log you can sit on.
after much walking, we finally made it here to the Kid Gore Shelter. You can see over here, it's got a little tent overflow part. It's got a nice cool little fire pit. It's got a bunch of bunk beds if you don't want to pitch your tent. And over here, we even have some bear boxes. We even have a toilet here. Where? What's up, y'all? So, yeah, we have we have the Plaza Hotel, as we said. But I have a I have a crippling phobia of bugs. So I've made basically just a bivy tent out of my tent. So it's like a bivy bag, but it's too big. So I use both poles up here, and it's just gonna be comfy as can be. There are spider webs though, so do watch out for those in the bunk beds. But it's gonna be amazingly comfortable. So if you stay here at the Kid Gore shelter, there is a nice reliable stream right nearby to top off your water in the morning. We are just about to start day two out here on the long trail on the second section here. So today we are hiking from the Kid Gore shelter all the way on down to Vermont Route 9. And it's gonna be a long day because we have just about 14 and a half miles to cover today. Now luckily, there's not gonna be too, too much elevation. We're gonna get up onto this ridge line here and we're gonna stay up that. And then from there, it's mostly downhill, but it's a lot of miles. So we're on, I guess this is Glastonbury Mountain. I think well, so. less knobby than Glastonbury, Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. But jokes. Good very day. beautiful. Yeah, so the forest fire might be visible. What do you say? It's like five times as wide as it was. I, yeah, I mean, that's way bigger. Yeah. Yeah, it's a range rather than like a plume. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's that whole side. So, that's why we're doing the second section thing. Yeah, I made the right call.
We only have 1.5 miles left to Route 9. We can see over here we have hiked 17.7 miles so far since we started on Kelly Strand Road. Due to the forest fire on the Massachusetts-Vermont border, we ended up having to jump ahead to the second section of the long trail first. However, this ended up being a good thing. Since we jumped ahead, we ended up hiking the second section southbound. Thus, the last 10 miles of our hike had a slight downward slope, rather than upwards if we had hiked it northbound. We started our first day at 2pm at Stratton Arlington Road and hiked 8.4 miles to the Kid Gore Shelter reaching it in just about 5 hours. Our second day ended up being a very long day, with 14.2 miles of hiking to reach Vermont Route 9. Luckily, this section was mostly downhill after a short initial climb to the top of Glastonbury Mountain. We finished our second day in 10 hours. Overall, this section of the long trail had many rolling hills, with small ups and downs rather than continuous steep climbs. There were some good viewpoints along the trail near the Kid Gore Shelter, including a fire tower at the top of Glastonbury Mountain. However, the real awesome thing about this section was all the little ponds made by the beaver dams you encounter along the trail. It's awesome to see how they have changed the landscape. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! So I think we're coming up on the shelter for tonight. There's a spider on me. Get off. Yeah. Cause we have about 14 and a half miles to cut. <laughs> Slip there. It's good.